Hello everyone, welcome back to my journalism of the hard news channel. The story for today is former Ready Steady Cook host Peter Everett has revealed he's been forced to sell his beloved possessions to make ends meet. Everett, who was best known for hosting the Channel 10 daytime cooking show for five years until his shock axing in 2011, told 4BC Afternoons he had been auctioning off his personal items just to survive. There's been a lot of sales on my behalf. I'm selling anything, I'm not down to the garage sale yet, but I've been selling off a lot of things, Everett candidly said. It really hasn't been an easy time. It hasn't. The entertainment industry, a lot of my friends far less fortunate than I have had it really, really bad. Radio host Rob McKnight then asked if Everett was struggling financially. You literally are at the point where you're selling stuff off? I'm very open about that. You've got to survive somehow, Everett answered, they're only possessions. Funnily enough, during this COVID time, sales were big. Auctions were huge, so it turned out that it was a good time to sell. It's kept me going, I can tell you. So thank you everyone for buying. Everett last appeared on Aussie screens on season 3 of The Celebrity Apprentice Australia in 2013. And in a wide-ranging interview with news.com.au in 2019, Everett did say he was doing it a bit tough financially, and was finding it difficult to get his foot back in the door in showbiz. When you're not getting an income and you're just using what you've got, it's very dire, let me tell you, he said. It worries me too. I don't have an agent. I'm not the best at seeking work. I don't want to annoy anyone I know in the industry and ask if there are any jobs going. I'm not doing very much. I do a little bit of charity here and there but not very much else at all. I feel I still have a lot to offer and I want to offer it, despite resurrecting Ready Steady Cook's ratings when he replaced Nick Stratford as host in 2006, Everett was brutally sacked before Christmas in 2010. I was at the airport about to leave on a trip and I got a phone call from Rory Callahan, who was the chief executive officer of Southern Star Productions at the time, saying that I think I'm greater than the show, Everett told us. He added, I said to him, I am a large part of the show, but I just want the best for the show. I said, if my ego was so great and I was greedy I would have asked for a pay rise, which I hadn't had in three years, even with the great ratings we had. He said, while you're away, we're going to interview new people for the show. There were whispers at the time that Everett was difficult to work with, and that he clashed with some of the TV chefs including Manu Fiodal and George Kalambaris. Everett did admit to some tensions on set, I don't think a lot of them liked me very much, to be honest, in the first season. They didn't like the familiarity of me, Everett admitted, with Manu, when I came in I couldn't understand a word he used to say. Seriously, not a word. At one point during the show I joked, after Manu spoke, thank you so much for that, Manu, we'll now be putting up subtitles. He scowled at me, he was ropeable that I was sending him up as a French person, I later said, look, since I've been here, all I hear from audience members is that they don't understand anything you're saying. I said, please trust me. I would never be rude to you or anyone. Just let me play with you. Manu was a bit slow to trust me, but he's such a character and eventually he started playing back. That is all for today news. Please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.